Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I just hear the patter of tiny paws, a very big paws coming downstairs. I was just editing my meals of the week and I realised I hadn't done an intro or an outro um, for it. So it's 25 to 7 and I want, uh, the reason I haven't got dressed is I was going to have a shower after I edited the video and uploaded it. But obviously, um, I hadn't done the intro or outro and I'm not going to have a shower just to do it. That sounds terrible, but I'm decent. I'm in my dressing gown. I am decent. And now I have a pup at my feet. Bless. So, um, this week I have done six dinners and I think five lunches. And I've put them in one video. Now let me know, let me know if you think that this is work in this format. I've never done these type of videos before. Last week was my first week and I did mainly, I think, all dinners. So this week I've included the lunches. Um, now I don't know if I should separate them out and put them in two separate videos and do lunches that we had this week um, and dinners we had this week. Um, in, as I said, in two separate videos. Um... It's actually funny, you're just going to, I just, even when I go to sit down and eat and can't go, do you record this? And I'm going, no, I'm jumping up and recording this. So it's actually quite funny because even he's in, gotten into it now. Um, But yeah, and I, I enjoy actually because it's sort of, it's a nice video to make and it sort of makes you present your food nicer instead of just, I don't know. Anyway, um. I think there is six dinners and five lunches. The reason be, I went out to lunch one day. I met a friend. I was only meant to meet for coffee and I ended up having something to eat out. So I didn't have a lunch that day. And another evening, uh, Carl had friends over, so I wasn't going to record. Um, so yeah, so, but I, anything I... Any meals I remember to record or I got recorded, I've put into the video. So I'm eager. I great feedback on the last one. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, as I said, let me know any feedback or comments you have. All right, guys, so this is tonight's dinner. It is four of the adult fish fingers. Well, they're, they're quite big. Some oven fried chips and the leftover carrots, buttered carrots we had the other day. So that is tonight's dinner. It's the leftover um, mince and lamb, mix, lamb seasoning mix. Some mashed potatoes, peas and carrots. This looks gorgeous. It's a real comfort food. Absolutely looking forward to this now. Okay guys, so it is half nine at night and I just fancy some toast. So I'm going to actually have the last of the brioche the sliced bagel and I'm going to have it with cream cheese Um, I'm going to do it in the toaster and I'm just going to put cream cheese and jam on it so this is what it's like all completed so it's a lightly toast brioche bun with cream cheese and jam or jelly and I'm going to have a plain one with just cream cheese okay so it is now 10 past 12 so I've been up since about 8 half 8 so this is what I'm going to have for my brunch shall we say it's the toffee crumble apple the toffee apple crumble yogurt which I'm intrigued to um taste and this banana and I'm going to pour it into a bowl and that is going to be my brunch today okay so this is what it looks like all Dish. I have my chopped banana, I have my yogurt and I put some of this Tesco strawberry crisp, crunchy granola clustered, tumbled with freeze dries um, strawberries. So I put that on top just to give it a bit of a crunch. So yeah, and it is really, that yogurt, I just tried it, um, scraped out the pot like, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Alright guys, so this is tonight's dinner. We are going to have this Bacon grill. Hayley brought this down for me to try. Oh shit, there's a key thing. Oh, I don't know how to use them. Oh, okay, well we'll figure that out. Um, 
these crispy potato balls we found in um buried in my freezer so probably half a bag of them um just try them out don't think i've ever tried them we're going to do the sausages i'm going to cook them all because they're always handy to have for a lunch and i'm going to have some spaghetti i don't know if carol eats spaghetti but that's left over first from some lunches i've had already last the end of last week all right guys so i got it out of the tin with the help of the key that was on the bottom and the scissors and twisted it that way so i'm going to cut these into about an inch thick and i'm going to put them into the sausages then to cook okay so this is carl's dinner that's the way those potato things turned out and he's e ending he's ending he's eating the end of the peas and carrots from yesterday's dinner sausages and he's just going to try one piece of that bacon can i eat now you can eat now oh my god i haven't watched it for 20 minutes shut up she doesn't feed me i don't feed you don't well you're a fine me. chunk of a lad who doesn't get fed you call me fat i call you fat i said you're a chunk of a lad mm -hmm. so this is my dinner just slightly different to carl's again potatoes i like the bacon there's a bit of a smoke taste off it i think sausages and i'm having the end of the spaghetti on mine so that is tonight's dinner okay guys so for today's lunch i am going to have a ham cheddar crustless quiche i took this out i defrosted it in my fridge so i'm going to have that with some coleslaw for today's dinner or for today's lunch not dinner for today's lunch it is now 20 past 12 so I'm going to get this organised now. I'm having quiche, coleslaw and the end of the cucumber. Okay, so this is today's dinner. We're going to have spaghetti bolognese. So I have here 790 grams of lean minced beef. Less than 5% means it's going to the slow cooker. I like the lower fat for the slow cooker because it means you're not... Because you can't drain it once it's in slow cooker, so... It's easier just to get the lower fat. I'm also using a smoked chilli and tomato stock pot. You dissolve that. I just want to get the correct. You dissolve it in 500 millilitres of boiling water. I usually use about 250. Um, I dissolve it in 250 millilitres of water, about half, and just add it in. Because I am also going to use a Dalmio Bolognese sauce. I'm also using the end of the base, which is your calorie, cel celery, carrots and onion. And there is a small little bit of the other of diced onion in there as well. So I'm going to use that. Just finish that off. I'm also using onion granules. About a teaspoon or a good teaspoon of the easy garlic. And the same with the chopped red chilies. I'm going to throw about a teaspoon of that in. So, that is tonight's dinner. All right, guys, so this is tonight's dinner. It's spaghetti bolognese out of the slow cooker. Absolutely smells divine. And I've had just chopped in some spring onions on top. And I'm going to put some cheese on top. And Carl got the exact same as me. But he sat down and started eating it straight away. <laughs> he was starving. Okay, guys, so for today's lunch, I'm going to have some brie some cranberry sauce and some rockets and baby leaves i'm going to put them into a wrap and i'm going to put them in the toaster and i'm going to have that with a cup of soup so i'll show you that when it's all done this is normally one we get around christmas time and at christmas time i would put stuffing and stuff in it. it's lovely on stevens day um but yeah, I just fancied it today. And I had the ingredients, so I thought, well, why not? Sir, you're not allowed up at the counter. Can you get down? Thank you. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like done in the wrap. If I can stand it up, I'll show it to you. So it's pretty large up there, and I'm going to actually put it in the panini press. And I will show you when it's all cooked and ready to go be fine just like that i've had it many times like that um but yeah i love this toasted golden vegetable
This happened to be the one that came out. There is another one there. Let me see what the other one is. This other one is... Oh, there. You see it there? Hot and sour. Don't think hot and sour will go nice with cranberry, so we're just going to go for the golden vegetable. Okay, guys, so this is how it came out of the panini press. So you'll see, I mean, it's toasted well on both sides. I have my cup of soup. That's the jam came out when I was trying to move it onto the board. But because there's jam in this, you need to be exceptionally careful because it will stay hot for a very long time. So, um, yeah, that is my lunch today. That and a cup of soup. And I'm happy out. I have just cut it down the middle and that's what it's looking like because obviously I want two halves. Absolutely gorgeous. See the steam coming off it, very hot. But I mm -mm -mm. have to say that is one of my most favourite lunches. I love sandwiches. I think done like that, done with the wraps, done in four quarters because you're just absolutely divine. Guys, so for tonight's dinner, we are having um, sweet and sour chicken. So I'm going to use the Alja sweet and sour sauce. I have my chicken fillets on there and we are going to have some sticky jasmine rice. So that is tonight's dinner. Okay guys, so this is the sweet and, tar sweet and sour chicken with rice. Myself and Carol both had it and it is absolutely gorgeous. And this is my dinner. He's already munching into his. So yeah, that's tonight's dinner. All right, guys, so I am actually going to prepare some overnight oats for the morning. I think it's because the mornings are wet at the moment. They're not cold, but they're just wet. I'm just, I'm fancying some warm porridge. So I have some porridge here that I had left over in a tub. I just put it in there to keep it um, fresh. I'm going to use some ground cinnamon and I'm going to use these apple slices. These are just dried apple slices. And I'm going to take a few of them out and I'm going to throw them into my bowl and I'm going to put some water. So I, let me get this organised and then I'll show you what we do next. So these are how the apple, the dry apple comes. It's just a circle. You can see a slice of apple that's been cored and they've been dried. So um, I'm going to dice them up and I'm going to put them in here. I have my porridge and my cinnamon. I'm going to dice them up and put them in. All right, guys, so that is them there with the um, apple diced into it. And there I have a cup of water, cold water. You can put hot water in, it doesn't make a difference. And I'm literally just going to pour it in. Until it's well covered. And then I'm going to stir it around to make sure everything's combined in. And I'm literally going to put a plate, get a small plate. And I am literally going to leave that sit on my counter overnight. Now, if I want to heat this up and it's looking a bit dry, I'll throw a bit more water into it and I'll heat it up. And then if it comes out of the microwave, you know the way sometimes it can come out and it's thick. I'll throw a little bit of cream or I'll throw a little bit of milk just to loosen it up. But I mean, you're talking two tablespoons just to loosen it back up. But yeah, we'll have that. I'll show it to you in the morning. So guys, it's 9.23 in the morning and I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. So I want to eat my oats before I go because there's nothing worse than sitting in a meeting with your stomach rumbling. Right, so let's have a look. Sorry, move everything around. So, so this is what it's looking like. The next morning so we've let it soak i'm just going to get a spoon and see so you can see it's still quite moist but all the starch has come out of the porridge so i'm literally going to just stick that in the microwave for a minute and a half just to get nice and warm and then i'll probably put a bit of milk in just to loosen it up it has just come out of the microwave the smell of apple and cinnamon coming off that is unbelievable it's absolutely it smells gorgeous so literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small drop of cream into it and mix it around and that will be lovely and loose. Okay guys, so today is just the day we're using up all the leftovers. Carl is going to have the spaghetti bolognese with the leftovers, spaghetti, spaghetti and the bolognese sauce. 
So I am actually going to have tortilla chips with some of the mints on top and grated cheese. And that is going to be tonight's dinner. And maybe some um, sauce on top or on the side. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is how it's turned out. That is the tortilla chips. And I used this fake away sugar free kebab sauce. So with spring onion on top and the mince and the grated cheese. And it smells gorgeous. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those dinners and the lunches. Um, it's just a little insight into what we eat in a day in our house, in our little Irish house. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed them and I hope you give some of the things a try. Talk to you in my next one, guys. Take care. Bye bye.